Morning number 23. Sleep was probably about 9 out of 10. Leo put the rain fly on. Did it start raining? Uh -huh. I woke you up. And you went back to sleep. Was it raining? Why would it be on? I don't know. Maybe it started raining. I don't know. Or sprinklers or something. Oh, I just sold something on Etsy. Let's see what it was. Just went to chain. Sold a Harvard crew neck on Etsy for $29, so that's good. Uh, didn't get too cold last night where we needed our extra our extra layers of clothes for whatever reason. Seven o'clock. Time to pack up, roll out. We're heading west. We'll hit Mississippi today. That'll be two states down, which will be awesome. Apparently it started raining last night and Leo got up and put the rain fly on and asked for my help, but I rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> I don't even remember. I, I mean, I slightly remember you saying something about mist or something. It was a You're like, I feel a mist. And I, I don't know. I was out. And he put the rain fly on. And it's actually a lot warmer in here than it was last night because he put it on about 80% correct. And last night we put it on probably about... 70 or 60 percent correct so it does keep you a lot warmer in here when you have the rain fly on because I could I put my hand outside and I can feel the temperature drop like 10 degrees there are places to go and things you should know about the world in which we live about the world in which we live it's a curious, mysterious place full of secrets and people who live in misery overseas. So for about a day and a half, I've probably been riding with this rear wheel wobbling from all these potholes and uh, I don't know, they're like trucker wake up strips that we've been hitting and it just threw my rear wheel out of trip. The Trans America Trail, we're trying to get to that route and I've been doing calculations and every calculation I do, it's very, very tight on days. So I wouldn't mind catching a ride through some of Alabama or Mississippi to help us get to our route faster. Maybe take a ferry up the Mississippi River, I don't really know yet. And it's actually busted part of the rim. If you can see right there, it's like exploding out. That's what it's supposed to look like. That one, the spoke nipples like busting out of it. It's got cracks all around both sides of it. So that's not good. I can still ride. I'm hesitant to adjust any of the other spokes, but I will be probably needing a new rear rim as soon as possible, as soon as we can get to a bike shop somewhere. There are cars on the street next to people on their feet. Both breathing the same. Just to make it better, the rains are coming. It's getting sprinkling. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. We're gonna try to hitch a ride to the next town just because I don't know when this rim's gonna break. I would rather not have it break here. This guy's got a truck. Catching a ride up to Livingston. We're gonna ask around the colleges, see if anyone's got a spare rim or something. If not, we'll be riding on it. This other gentleman was telling us that if we were riding on it to be careful, and uh, two people from Amsterdam, one of them got hit and died, so. All right, so we got some lunch, regrouped, developed a plan of what we're gonna do about my rear rim. I had a second opinion of a guy looking at it that road cycles. He said, you'll probably be, be all right for a while, but you will wanna get a new rim eventually. I actually noticed like five more cracked, a little spoke entry points. I called a bike shop, it's 87 miles away and they're gonna order me a new rim. It's gonna be about 85 bucks. It's gonna be there tomorrow, so hopefully we'll get there sometime tomorrow and then replace my rim. And then I won't have to worry about it disintegrating, going downhill at like 35 miles an hour, which would be awful. We'll be on our way to Starkville, and once we hit Starkville, we're gonna get my bike work done. So that's where we're doing. We have a plan. Every day is kind of, we adjust. We Everyone asks where we're going, what we're doing. Well, we really don't know until that day. We have an end goal in mind, but we're very, very day-to-day. -day. Our route has changed multiple times during the day. We're gonna get riding, bang out some miles. It's about one o'clock. We have 14 riding miles in today, and I think we hitched about 13 miles of dangerous roads where the guy warned us, loggers killing bicyclists all the time. He said all the time, so that's kind of scary. First big rain day. Nothing like a Florida thunderstorm where it's lightning and crazy, but it's coming down. It's not gonna be super enjoyable to ride. So looking forward to it. The good news is the rain has stopped, but we have these roads that are just gravel 
for like five or six miles and I'm on a rear rim that might disintegrate at any point here. The road goes forever. I got a pretty sweet pickup right here. Left for Dead 2 for the Xbox 360. Complete in box. We got the manual, we got the disc, maximum scratching. Probably still gonna play, just need to get that resurfaced. I just scanned this in about 1999 FBA. So we've been passing these structures on this county road. It's probably a private hunting road or something. The hunters probably wouldn't be too happy seeing us out here scaring their deer away. You just sit inside of a structure, put deer feet out, wait for deer to come up, and then you shoot it. That's a sport. Seriously? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. People didn't even think we would get to Jack's. People didn't even think we'd get out of Key West. Alabama down, Mississippi to go. We're headed towards Scuba, then the Natchez Trace, and then we're gonna figure it out from there. I know that I have a voice and even- I really don't drink soda, but because we're expending so many calories, I'm drinking soda and eating cookies. It's like 8.30 at night. It's pitch black outside, even though you can't really tell because of the sensor on this camera. Plus, Leo's got a light right there. Tried to find a fire station in this little town called Sukulak, and that was not successful. Then we found a church that we were about to camp at, but we were nice enough to ask the neighbor if she knew the pastor and she didn't even come out of the house. She was scared out of her mind and we just left because we didn't want to get woken up by the police. So we have no idea where we're going to be staying. We are heading north on a pretty major state highway at night. It's pretty stupid, but we gotta find a place to stay. Wish us luck. One sale on Amazon today. We're a little bit south of Macon, Mississippi. We're staying under a church awning tonight. There's Leo's spot. We rode 70 miles today. It was another big day. And I think we hitched a ride for about 12, 12 or 13. Pretty tired. No mosquitoes out here, so we're not gonna use the tent. Just gonna throw under the awning. Highway's over there. There's a road over there. Bushes, bushes right here. Should be able to get a good night's sleep tonight, I think. Um, but I'd say this is a B, a B camping spot. It's on our route, we didn't have to move too much. We had a mess in the previous town and we didn't find this place until like 9, 15, pitch black, riding down Highway 45, stupid idea. Don't forget to thumb up this video to send us good motivation, good prayers, good juju, good vibes, all that good jazz. And if you have any questions about the bike tour, put it in the comments below and I will answer as soon as I can. I will talk to you guys in the morning. Look what I found. A nice little black widow.